But the crowd out there saying they hate ICE because they've accidentally deported legal immigrants. I saw one case of this where there was a gentleman from Korea, I think, who served in the military and was deported. The guy was questioning Christy Nome and basically trying to come up with situations where ICE accidentally deported legal immigrants. If you watch that hearing, it makes it appear that that happens all the time. But it's not. I think most of the people who support ICE support legal immigration. They're just scared because they don't know who most of these people are who cross the border illegally under Biden. On the flip side, we hear of cases like Lake and Riley, Molly Tibbetts, and Maria Gonzalez, who were murdered by illegal immigrants. Which begs the question, is there a greater chance of someone being murdered by an illegal immigrant or a legal immigrant being deported on accident? Let's look into that. Using Grok to take into account how many people have been accidentally deported and how many people have been murdered by illegal immigrants, I asked to see which one had the highest chance of actually happening. Here's what Grok said. Yes, it's safe to say that the probability of being murdered by an illegal immigrant is vastly greater than the probability of a U.S. citizen being wrongfully deported. Wrongful deportations of confirmed U.S. citizens are extraordinarily rare. The annual risk for any of the 280 million adult U.S. citizens is effectively near zero, far less than one in a million. Okay, now let's look at this. The U.S. sees around 15,000 to 20,000 homicides annually. The per capita risk of being murdered by one is low overall, one to two per 100,000 population, or about one in 50,000. Comparison, dividing the risks, the probability of homicide by an undocumented immigrant is approximately 50,000 to 100,000 times higher than wrongful deportation of a citizen. I know these are just rough estimates from Grok, and there's probably lots of things we need to take into account. It's not at all scientific, but at least it gives us an idea that there's a greater chance of someone being murdered by an illegal immigrant than an American citizen accidentally being deported by ICE. So everyone in the comments saying, well, what about this person and that person that were accidentally deported by ICE and they're American citizens? The chances of that are so rare. And if you think it's rare for someone to be murdered by an illegal immigrant, it's more rare for someone to be accidentally deported. We truly just want a safe America. And let's not forget that this never would have happened if we hadn't let them in in the first place.